Hello there guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you about the ester formation and I'll be like uh, re-explaining to you about the concept of alcohol and also carboxylic acid. So here for alcohol, we have a formula CN H 2N plus 1 and OH. The OH here is the functional group for alcohol. So the naming here will be followed by the last name all. Okay, so for the first, if you have a one carbon, then we call it as a methanol. Second carbon, if you have a two carbons here, we call it as a ethanol. So now we will deduce the formula here. So let's say we take a propanol for example. So the carbon here is is 3. So for propanol so here will be C3 H7 and OH. Okay, regarding their structure, so we will have three carbons, 1, 2 and 3. So we will have 7 hydrogen and everything here will be in a single bonds so here we will have hydrogen and then lastly we will have a hydroxide compound over here so this is the alcohol group so in short we can also represent them as as ch3 ch2 c2 and also oh okay let us try with the ethanol so the ethanol will be the c carbon is 2 so c2 h5 and oh so here we will have two carbons so remember carbon you will have a four valence electron so because of that they will have a four bondings so here we'll have a five hydrogen one two three four five and lastly here we will have a hydroxide okay to make it to make things simple okay so we might have methanol we might have ethanol propanol and so on so these things will be changing all right these things here will be changing so in short form to represent the alcohol so we might write uh, just a box okay and here you have a here you have a hydroxide compound here so it represents an alcohol okay now let us go to the carboxylic acid okay for carboxylic acid here we will have the ending name we call it as a oic acid okay so this is a methanoic acid number two here it will be ethanoic acid number three here will be propanoic acid so everything here we have oic acid so now the formula here will be cn h2 n plus one but the only difference thing here with the alcohol this N here, we have to minus with 1. Okay, we have to minus 1 because here we already have another carbon. Okay, for example, we are going to do propanoic acid, okay, which is this. So now, propanoic acid, the N here is 3. So when we are going to substitute inside this formula, we are going to minus with 1. So, which means that we are going to get 3 minus 1, which is 2. So, we are going to substitute this one with 2. And H, here will be 5. And COOH. Okay. The COOH, this is the functional group for carboxylic acid, where they will have a, a special structure, where the carbon, you have a double bond with oxygen. Okay. So, this is their structure their functional group so now to write their their structural equation one two and three remember the last carbon here we have to put 
the double bond O and OH to represent them for carboxylic acid. So here we have all the hydrogen. So these are the structure for carboxylic acids. Okay, now let us try with something else like a methanoic acid. Okay, for methanoic acid here, carbon here we have 1. So when we minus 1, here you, we are getting here 0. So C0, H1 and COOH. So here we don't have to write this. So your entire formula here will be C, uh, H, C, O, O, H. And your structural form will be in this way. Okay. So when you want to draw uh, an example of a carboxylic acid, so we can write it like a block, okay, which represents uh, carbonic uh, compounds. And the lastly, here. We will have a carbon with double bond O and OH. Okay, O in short form, we can also write it like this. C O O H. So okay, it represents a carboxylic acids. Okay, for ester formation, we need a carboxylic acid and also alcohol. Okay, now for example. For carboxylic acid, we are going to use propanoic acid. Okay, propanoic acid. And for alcohol, we are going to use ethanoic acid. Oh, sorry, this is a, a, a ethanol. Okay, this is a ethanol. So, let us write down the formula. So, this is a C2H5COOH. And here you have a C2H5OH. Okay, now let us write down the structure. So now we have here three carbons one, two, and three. Double bond O and OH. So here the rest I'm going to write down a hydrogen here. Okay, now, now look at here. Now we do have alcohol, ethanol, 1 and 2. And here we have a OH. So here is the hydrogen. Okay, now they will have a reaction when we will have a acid as a catalyst. Okay, so acid as a catalyst between them. Okay, now this is a type of a condensation polymerization because they will be removing a water a molecule so now you can have a look here here we have a H from the carboxylic acid and from the alcohol we are going to remove this the OH okay so the whole thing here the carbonic compound will be attached at this side so let me draw this for you. So we will have the remaining carboxylic acid. Okay, now I'm going to attach the, the ethanoid. One, two. Okay, this is your the ester, and you have to class with water. Okay, now, now for the naming part. For the naming part here, naming of ester. So for the alcohol, naming of the ester. The first part will be coming from the alcohol, so which is ethanol, but here we have to change it to alkyl group. So here we will have an ethyl, okay, ethyl, and the second part of the ester's name will be coming from a carboxylic acid. So this is a propanoic acid. So we will be writing here propanoate. Okay, so you have to remember, here you have an alkyl, 
and here we will have a noat. Okay, so this is the name of the ester. Now let us try with a new example. Okay, now let us choose ethanoic acid for the acid and a butanol for the alcohol group. Okay, now here we will have a carbon 2. So here we are going to minus with 1. So we are getting here C1, H3 and COOH. And here for butanol, here is a carbon 4, H is 9 and here we have a OH. Okay, so let me write, write down this one properly. So here we will have ethanoic acid. Okay, now we are going to draw the structure. So here we have a two carbons, one and two. Here will be double bond, OH. And here we will have hydrogen. Okay, now at this side, we will have butanoic acid. So here we will have OH. And the rest here will be will be hydrogen. Okay, now the hydrogen from the acid and the OH, the hydroxyl group from the alcohol will be removed to form the water. So for your ester, you will have this one I can write it as a short form CH3 double bond O. And will be combined with the with the carboxyl group uh, of a uh, alcohol. So here we will have C four H nine. Okay. So the naming part of the alcohol here. The first one will be coming from alcohol. The alcohol will be butyl and from the carboxylic acid here we will have ethanoid okay so that's all for the ester formation